Patients will present with subluxed or luxated teeth that may require stabilization. A minimally loose tooth does not require stabilization as the periodontal ligament will reattach to the socket. A tooth that moves significantly with manipulation, however, like in this example, will need to be stabilized. A subluxed tooth is a tooth that is loose, but it is not displaced. A clue which suggests that a tooth is subluxed is blood which may be visible in the gingival crevice. A luxated tooth is a tooth that is displaced. It may or may not be loose. Examples include extrusive luxation or extrusion where the tooth is displaced apically and the incisal or biting surface does not line up with the other teeth. Another example is horizontal or lateral luxation where the tooth is displaced anteriorly or posteriorly. The dental box contains copac which is periodontal paste. It works very well to stabilize loosened teeth in a variety of different situations. It also works very well in the treatment of gingival lacerations, often making suturing unnecessary. It comes as a catalyst and a base. First, squeeze equal amounts of each of the base and the catalyst onto a large mixing pad. Next, Mix the catalyst and the base together using a wooden tongue blade. It will take approximately 30 to 60 seconds of vigorous mixing before the periodontal paste thickens up and becomes more difficult to mix. When it becomes thick, scoop up the paste with the tongue blade and place the paste and the tongue blade into a basin of water. While the mixture is sitting in the water, use the water to soak your gloves. The copac will stick to anything that is dry, so your gloves must be completely wet. Now with wet hands, pull the copac off of the tongue blade and roll the paste into a cigar shape. If the copac begins sticking to your gloves, dunk your hands back into the water and get them wet. Once the copac is rolled up into the shape of a cigar, it is ready to apply to the teeth. When applying to the teeth, remember to extend the copac to one stable tooth on each side of the loose tooth. It is applied to both the gingiva as well as the enamel. Remember, the gingiva and the enamel must be dry. If there's blood or saliva on the teeth, the copac won't stick, so make sure the teeth are dry. Try not to get the copac over the occlusal or biting surface of the tooth, as this will interfere with the patient's bite. You can apply the copac to both the facial and oral surfaces of the teeth if necessary to stabilize a tooth. In my experience, if you really work the paste into the interproximal spaces of the teeth, you usually can get adequate stabilization by just applying to the facial surface.